Welcome back Chibbers. So I thought I'd do a bit of an update on how the DIY power wall has been running in the last few weeks. The um, Now that I've got the 10 kilowatt hours up and running, it's made quite a big difference between the, having the 5 kilowatt hours and 10. 10 really pretty much means that I can get through 2 and a bit nights without um, needing to use grid power. So that pretty much means if we have um, a fully charged power wall, the first night uh, we use some, the second day is a bit cloudy so we don't really put too much charge back into it. We use the power wall again that uh, the next night, then we have another cloudy day. By the kind of that night again uh, we start to run out of power. But it pretty much means we can get through uh, two nights in the summer without um, needing to uh, put too much more power back into the power wall. So that's really great, I'm um, really impressed and it's been going really well. So it's quite a big step up from the 5 kilowatt hours. 5 kilowatt hours um, really isn't enough, um, it, it means that you're cycling the whole, ba the whole battery pretty much every night, where at least with a 10 kilowatt hour um, you're only cycling half of it, especially if you get some sunny days or if it's sunny days um, pretty much every day. But um, in the last little while it's been summertime, we're slowly coming out of summer and that pretty much means we've had lots of overcast and cloudy days and the power wall's been running lower and lower and lower and we've been putting some charge back into it but it's kind of um, we need more solar pretty much on the roof however everything else has been working really well i've been really impressed 10 kilowatt hours is kind of a good sweet spot uh if um, if anyone's thinking about what kind of sizing to uh, to do um, in the summertime for me anyway um, 10 kilowatt hours is fantastic in the winter time I know that we use just over 10 kilowatt hours um, in, the, in a winter night where we've got the heat pump on and other bits and pieces so obviously we'll do daily cycling then but in the summertime it just means that we only um, um, half discharge the batteries which is really good now the other thing I thought I'd mention, um, everything else has been going really well, the charges have been going well, in fact one of them has got a bit of a fan noise on it, um, the top one kind of a um, annoying noise on the fan but that's a minor little issue. Um, another little issue that I had was the BMS unit that I built, um, it was crashing once a day, I've kind of almost fixed that, it's now crashing, um, or it pretty much freezes with all the details on the screen it just kind of hangs. Uh, which is a bit annoying but uh, I've pretty much got to the bottom of that as well so I've kind of been um, constantly um, fixing things and improving things as I've um, come along in the last few weeks which has been good. Um, the other thing is the uh, inverter has been going flawlessly now that I've got the um, external grid tie uh, limiter that's inside uh, obviously in one of my previous videos if you wanted to watch that if you haven't already done so. Done so. Uh, and pretty much everything else has been going really well. It has meant that over the last little while when the power wall has um, gone flat or run out of uh, battery, um, the relay system and all those other bits and pieces have been working uh, really well. The BMS has been obviously switching off the inverter when the, the voltage gets too low and that's been working really well. So that's had to do that obviously a few times, um, but I have been keeping an eye on it. The power wall hasn't been fully charged for probably about two weeks now. Uh, we've had quite a really cloudy and, and not that um, not, a lot, not a few days in a row of sun. So um, that, that hasn't been too bad, it's been kind of sitting at about 60 or 70%. But either way, batteries are all doing what they're kind of meant to be doing. There's a couple of cells that I've noticed, uh, probably about four of them, uh, well, sorry, uh, four packs that are lower than the rest, um, but I'm waiting to kind of charge everything back up again so that I can figure out kind of what's going on there. But as we know, um, if you balance at the top, you're going to have different voltages at the bottom. Um, but e either way, power wall's going really well, 10 kilowatt hours is fantastic, and if any of you that are starting the project, 10 kilowatt hours is a great goal to get to, it's, um, it really makes a bit of a difference on the power wall. So what I'll do in the next few videos will be on um, the monitoring, how I'm kind of doing my BMS unit and how that's working. Version 2 is in progress, um, but I'll do some videos on version 1 to start with, and also um, is it saving me money. So those are the next couple of videos that are coming out very shortly, and um, thanks for guys for watching, I'll see you in the next video.